Hello everyone and welcome to, you know, the second race of the first season This time, you know, I managed to qualify not last, second to last <laughs> Because, yeah, uh, it's kind of hard then, well, I guess that, you know, if I, if I really train the track I guess I could get, you know, probably, you know, to like 15th or so But, you know, I do not have the time <laughs> I mean, I, I do have the time, but yeah, it's kind of boring to really, you know, really make more and more and more laps, you know, until you actually, you get, you get the proper, you know, you get a proper qualifying position. But yeah, 20th. I mean, they get a super start. It's like it's one of the most annoying things of, of, for the from this game. But you know, for example, you know, twentieth after after the first turn. That's not something that you you would normally see. This marginally better, you know, qualifying position actually helps me quite a lot. Walker, please. Come on. Okay, that was bad. That was a bad dry sack. Okay, that was almost a crash. Managed to solve it. By the minimum, two Spaniards together. This time, you know, check and Cardoso, not Gibernau and Cardoso. Okay, this is very bad because you know, here I'm usually much faster than them, but I need a clean track. Okay, getting to 13th. I'm on Hagas' slipstream, but I cannot do much. Except outbreak him for the Expo 92 turn. I don't know the name of all of them. I know the name of a few of them. Okay, passing. Uh, Jurgen van der Burgen on that turn, I do not know the name of. I know this one is Citopons, I think. I think it's dedicated to the to the to the 250cc world champion. Twice, 250cc world champion. And then I think this this one got the the name changed because Drysag is some kind of alcohol. I do not know that. I do not know what, but yeah, I think it's some kind of alcohol. But yeah, fuck it. For me, it's gonna be dry sack all the all uh, you know. Doesn't matter the the year. Okay, bad turn. Come on. And this is Nieto and Peluki. This is Nieto. And this is Peluki. This is one of the hottest turns in you know in all of the MotoGP calendar. A shit ton of people get the uh, sit there. Oh god, Sete! God damn it, I hate you! Nah, I do not hate Sete Giver now, but yeah, that was fucking awful. Okay, that was a bit too much. And you can see, I mean, 46-7. Okay, I basically lost the front there. I had to let go of the brakes to avoid the crash. But yeah, for example, with that lap, I would have been like 15th or so. That's the kind of shit I was talking about, like, you know. Okay, he basically pushed me wide. Okay, that was good. <laughs> That's a celebratory, you know, celebration wheelie. Mm, 
I could have, you know, opened up the throttle a bit earlier. The first turn of this track is fairly hard when it comes to, you know, front wheel load because it is uphill and the bike, you know, basically turns to get un unstable. Okay, catching Capirossi. I'm gonna try to pass him on the outside, not gonna, not gonna be that, that way. Ah, okay, that was a very good one. Lost quite some time, mainly due to the to the first turn shenanigans. Okay, I'm eighth. That's a good position. My objective is to get 7th on all races, more or less. Okay, that was almost a crash twice! Jesus Christ, I was so much on the edge there. Maybe it was just out of control instead of, you know, on the edge. Okay, trying to get to Roberts. I just went wide. Kenny, I know I'm on GR inside and you know, I was basically a bit too optimistic when it comes to passing you, but yeah. Okay, that was bad. Record lap, and we are on the final lap. I'm gonna try, you know, using my cojones. Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, Barres is gonna try to overtake me, you know, using the the much bigger power of his bike. Oh God! And I'm gonna try to use my much bigger cojones to pass him back. Oh my god, I even stepped on the grass and somehow didn't crash. I do not even understand that. Yeah, I know was way too far away. I'm happy with this result! No, seriously, I'm actually happy. That was a hard fought uh, sixth place. And yeah, fairly good. Yeah, not, not that bad, not that bad. Again, you know, Jurgen van der Gurbe 24-4 and I was 9.2, so yeah, 15 seconds on my side. And I'm sixth in the championship because, you know, everyone is basically fucking, fucking around, more or less. So yeah, I mean, if I can get 150 points, I do not know the place, but I guess I'm gonna be somewhere, you know, around 7th or 6th. And that would basically give me, you know, a, tech tr uh, a Red Bull Yamaha bike. And that can be enough for me to win the championship. So yeah, next up, Le Mans, France. See you there. Bye-bye.